let's record a backing track in the key of A minor. And then I'll demonstrate playing some of the scale theory notes and then some of the kind of correct notes uh, using triads, triad view. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Now I'm going to demonstrate playing scale theory, notes from the A minor scale, and let's see how that sounds. <laughs> okay, obviously those don't sound right, let's switch it. What's the difference? The difference is when I'm playing the notes. So the first round through, I was playing the right notes. Technically, they're from A minor, but every time they were at the wrong spot. So this exercise that I'm gonna show you right now is gonna teach you how to play the right notes at the right time. So we're gonna learn these triads in combination with ear training too, okay? So we're gonna play these triads with me. So follow the on-screen charts. G, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, back to G. So we're listening when the chord changes. A minor, two, three, four, and G, two, three, four, back to G. Now once you get that, start to play arpeggios, which just means single notes. start playing like quarter notes, if that's too hard, G, A minor, G, okay, and then now let's add a reach note, so this is just the one note that you'll reach out with the pinky to add, G and reach, A minor, Okay, just quarter notes. So next, we're gonna do that same thing here. Next, we're gonna do that same thing here, but we're gonna do it over the different uh, set. So we'll call this set two, and basically we're gonna learn this chord shape, this chord shape, and this chord shape. So here we go, let's start it up again. Okay, G, two, let's start here on F. F, two, three, four, G. Just play the shapes with me. Straight across shape, A minor. Arpeggio. A minor. Let's do the reach. This is a bigger reach, so you can move your whole hand. You don't have to hold the chord. Moving my hand to reach that longer reach. G and reach. A minor, reach, G, big reach, F, reach, G, reach.
So, obviously these notes are gonna sound a lot better. These are the most correct notes that you can choose if you're soloing. So have fun with this and let me know what you think in the comments. We'll see you guys on the next one.